Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. And today we're going to be discussing the top five most overrated tracks in sim racing. And these decisions might get a little bit spicy, but these are the tracks that I think are overrated. You guys can leave your top five most overrated tracks in the comment section below. Also as well, guys, if you want to get into tuning, making your own setups, building your own setups for um, your races, your sim races, league races and stuff like that. I have created a tuning book. I will leave the... Um, link in the description below you can now also get that in the kindle format you can download it for the, your kindles your tablets your phones and stuff like that but anyway guys let's get stuck into the video number five i have to say it guys suzuka is just it bores me it absolutely bores me i've said it before i don't feel like suzuka is a great track um especially not for racing it's one of those tracks where it's pretty satisfying if you're going around by yourself but the absolute moment you have to have a race and you realize especially if you don't have the grunt going on the back straight it's so hard to overtake and it literally is single file it doesn't seem like it would be but it is a single file track and even though i have said sim racing i don't even enjoy watching real life races around suzuka to be honest i even feel like they're pretty boring as well i mean when was the last time you can remember i absolutely humdinger of a race around suzuka literally i cannot remember one the last really good race i can remember at suzuka in in any format was probably raikkonen in 2005 when he overtook physicella on on the, the the lap before last or whatever that's about it i can't remember any other great races at suzuka so for me it's an overrated track i don't really like doing it on acc it's very low grip you end up sliding around certain cars have got stupid bop so they're just so fast on the back straight and yeah I'm, I'm i'm fed up with the track to be honest man it's just it's just not for me number four let's be honest if you know me this one definitely is not a surprise laguna seca for me i'm not gonna lie this circuit is just trash it's boring and i feel like the whole circuit is literally just built around the corkscrew everyone talks about the corkscrew but the rest of the track is just there's nothing there there's nothing to excite me about any other corner on this track it bores me you can't really race you end up just getting frustrated behind people you pretty much have to wait for a mistake to make an overtake and again it's one of those laps that can feel pretty satisfying if you nail a lap in quali but other than that on every game i've hated this track the, the crazy thing is on project cars i was pretty fast here but i've just never ever liked the track i think the corkscrew in itself is you know wonderful corner it's very different but apart from that what do i really get from racing at laguna seca and the answer is nothing nothing but sausage curbs and pain and dust and all the stuff that i just don't care about so for me overrated track always has been and yeah that's pretty much it number three at number three we have zolda now I will admit there is a couple of corners that I actually don't mind around this track but the chicanes man the chicanes to me are absolute cluster every time you do a lap around this track you don't know whether you're cheating or whether you know you're just doing the right line but it just always feels so inconsistent over the curbs and yeah it's just to me it's just an accident waiting to happen it has been for many years I've done league races around this track for years and years and you either get penalized for corner cutting by the racing stewards afterwards or you end up getting binned because everyone files into the corners on the first few laps way too fast and it's just always some sort of drama around Zolder. i don't think i've had many clean races around this track either if you get a penalty most of the time I actually get rear-ended and absolutely murdered at one of the chicanes and i just find it frustrating again it's another one of those tracks that are pretty hard to pass on but there is maybe a few more opportunities than some of the other tracks on the list but again it sort of promotes this dive bombing culture because there really isn't any clear cut you know clear cut opportunities to, to get through so people take much bigger risks when it comes to doing races around this track um in the past there has been maybe a few good races but in general man uh, the track winds me up but anyway let's move on to the next one number two so at number two we got Brands Hatch and I'm not gonna lie, um, just doesn't really do anything for me, man. Um, in terms of the British tracks, Brands Hatch to me is 
I'd, I'd have it slightly above tracks like Snetterton and stuff like that. But for me, it's just, it's a track that I could easily, easily never do again. And it wouldn't affect me at all. Um, doesn't really have the personality of a sort of track that I like where you can actually take different lines and race wheel to wheel. Apart from the first couple of laps, there isn't really any wheel to wheel racing. You're kind of, again, waiting for mistakes to be made by other drivers to actually move forward in the field. And if you are racing against, you know, fast drivers, good drivers, nine times out of 10, they're not going to make a mistake and it's insanely hard to overtake. So not too much to say about Brands Hatch. Pretty boring, pretty just straightforward and yeah, nothing, nothing exciting for me personally about Brands Hatch. Never really liked the track and I don't think I ever will. And at number one, I'm going to have to say it, lads. It's going to be controversial, but Nordschleifer, man, I'm telling you, listen, wait, wait, before you guys try and unsubscribe and put me in the bin, listen, I'm not saying Nordschleifer is a bad track. I'm not saying that at all. It's got great corners. It's got amazing undulations, all that good stuff. I'm just saying for actual racing, I don't believe Nordschleifer to be the best track. I don't even believe it to be a good track for actual racing because when you actually take into account it's what seven minutes long or whatever it is in a gt car most of that time is spent literally in single file there isn't you know at the top level that many overtaking opportunities during the lap you're pretty much waiting until you get to the back straight and trying to slipstream the guy in front which is all cool and stuff but if you want to see wheel to wheel action in my personal opinion watching a race around Nordschlaffer just isn't it it's just not it I mean I love watching qualifying I love all that good stuff to me it's like a how can I put this Nordschlaffer is like the, the the event is more is more powerful than the actual racing action sort of like 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 a Monaco the the Monaco event the the name and how synonymous it is um is more powerful than the actual race that we witness and that's what that's the same way i sort of feel about nordschleifer i don't know you guys might think i'm wrong me personally i feel like the track is definitely overrated in terms of what it brings in in excitement in in, in wheel to wheel racing and action now i get it mostly used for endurance and stuff like that and um you know endurance races they're not all about the wheel to wheel sometimes it's about the strategy and you know just being able to last but for me i can't remember many exciting moments um me really looking forward to a race at nordschleifer you you do get one or two things like you know kevin estry doing insane things and stuff like that but that's in the real world in sim racing when everyone's pretty much a very similar level no one's making mistakes do you see any real overtaking maneuvers around 90% of the circuit, not really. Everything is pretty much done on the back straight. And for me personally, I just don't find that that exciting. Um, I can watch a race around Nordschleifer, but I tend to have to like watch a bit, leave, come back, watch a bit more. I can't, it doesn't keep me engrossed in the action the whole time, you know, and that's where I feel like it kind of loses out again. I'm not saying that it's a bad track. I'm just saying that it's not the best track if you want to see will to will action. So so let me know what you think, guys. I know a lot of people are going to think I'm crazy. How dare how dare you put Norse life in? That's blasphemy. But for me personally, that's that's how I feel about the track. Um, and yeah, it's just is what it is. Next, guys, I will do the top five, maybe the top five most underrated tracks or the top five best tracks for racing and see what i can come up with there um as i said before guys cryptic tmg definitely like and subscribe um hit the notification bell and all that good stuff remember guys if you're looking for a tuning guide if you're looking to learn how to do your own setups i have got a book out on amazon at the moment you can also get it in the kindle version and um yes that is pretty much it guys i will leave the link in the description cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace